This is Chris, the Idaho Painter here on Paint Life TV. Today, I got a video. I'm gonna be showing you what I use to make my videos. I get people asking me, what mics do I use? What sound equipment? What uh, cameras do I use to create the videos? And I'm gonna show you in this video, the stuff I started creating videos with 11 years ago and the video equipment I use today. So if you wanna know what I use for sound and video, stay tuned for this video. All right, so sitting in front of me, I got a bunch of video equipment. This isn't all the video equipment. I'll end up showing you even more because what I'm videoing with is our new equipment that's even newer than this. But I have in front of me the very original camera that I started shooting video with YouTube about 10 to 11 years ago. And this is a Kodak place board. I paid about $75 for this thing. I shot about, I believe around my first 350 videos with this. And I had, when I started multiple video um, YouTube channels, I had, I started uh, Paint Life TV. I started the Idaho Cyclist, which still exists, but I don't shoot videos for it anymore and then I started the Idaho Bass Fisherman and now I only do uh, Paint Life TV but this is original camera you can see it's still got overspray on it it still works the battery compartment has to stay closed with a piece of tape but it shot 1080p footage and um, it was a great little camera I was able to just keep it in my back pocket and pull it out whenever I wanted to shoot a video I eventually bought multiple so I have I had like four or five of them at one time so I can set them up and shoot different angles or if a battery went dead on one I just break out the other one and it had just a little SD card in it what was amazing is that it even comes with software to edit videos plug it in your computer it would put the software right on your computer and that's what I edited my first um, 350 videos with is and shot um, the videos with this right here this simple little device about $75 and I think you can still get them on Amazon which is um, true Truly amazing but how convenient just to be able to break this thing out and have it in your back pocket but one of the biggest complaints I was getting about my videos is sound quality and um, even though it shoots 1080p uh, sound quality is not going to be very good on a little small device like this it's just going to pick up everything birds airplanes lawnmowers all kinds of stuff and so um, I eventually graduated onto another camera this was my next set up that I had and this is the Canon T4i and I'll tell you why I moved to this and how I ended up moving to this setup right here um, from a $75 camera to that thing. So I was eventually, quite a few years ago, I was invited to a, a YouTube event where I went there with uh, 60 other YouTubers at that point in time. And I was really small. I had about 20,000 subscribers at that point in time. And I'm, I'm getting close to 400,000 now. But um, I went there and I had, they told you to bring your video equipment because we were gonna talk about video and, and, and making quality video and coming up with quality sound. And, and so I had this thing in my back pocket and we did this round table thing. And, but it was interesting, the, the crowd of YouTubers that were there at the time, and, and there was a couple of big ones. Steve Ramsey was there at the time, only had um, about 350,000 subscribers. He's got several million now. Um, Fro knows photos, Jared Pullen was there. Um, so I, I met some of those big guys there, but everybody was walking around with uh, these devices right here. This was the, the camera a choice by a majority of YouTubers. It was a Canon T4i with a Rode shotgun mic on it and um, Fro, uh, Jared Poland from Frono's Photos, I spoke to him and this is what he recommended at that point in time. I had no idea about cameras. I had no knowledge about cameras at all. Had no idea um, why use this mic or why use this. I mean, I thought this is just for taking photographs but based on Jared's um, recommendation and what everybody else was doing, I went and bought this thing. And so what I'll tell you is the difference, um, number one is sound quality. So I used to get a lot of complaints about my sound quality. For one thing, um, I was very shy in the beginning. I was very soft-spoken. And so that contributed to sound quality, but a Rode mic, this is a, a mic that's not internal to the camera. The internal cameras just pick up everything. A shotgun mic is more directional sends the sound out to um, the or the the mic 
picks it up, you know, directional. So it, it just a lot better sound quality. Um, video quality is a lot better with a T4i. It's still, t this is a, t a 1080p, but one of the things that I really, really liked about this setup is um, the, the screen comes out, flips out, and I can see it. So I can set this up, I can be out there, and I can see myself whether I'm in frame or not. When this thing was sit sitting there, pointing at you, you had no idea whether you're in or out of frame and stuff. So just a little bit more difficult. And there's, this takes photographs, it does, um, has a lot of different features, but I went from, you know, this Canon T4i and um, eventually graduated from that to eventually other cameras. I'm going to talk about some of this other equipment. I'll tell you why I use all this stuff too. All right. So I used the Canon T4i and in order to get some more interesting shots out there, I started using a GoPro early on and you'll see some of my um, video footage. A GoPro gives you these really wide angle shots, but I started hooking a GoPro up to things like an extension pole, um, things like my um, paint brushes and stuff. And so you'll see GoPro shots, you know, here and there, but I was doing um, when I was out, you know, painting, you know, um, day in and day out and stuff and I started doing in some live events and some basically blog events, I would use a device like this and I'd put my GoPro on it and I would walk around and video myself with um, a GoPro and do these um, blogs and just walking around the job site talking about what I was doing. Eventually I started using my camera. It's amazing, an iPhone, the, the photos that you can get from an iPhone, the videos you can get from the iPhone, absolutely amazing. My iPhone will shoot video in 4k um, but once again sound quality with these devices is um, not good i used to have a mic i would set up a mic with my gopro so i would get better sound quality when i'd walk around and use the gopro but it really gave me some some really cool you know footage but when i was using the canon t4i i um, met another gentleman um, in another youtube event that uh, made some suggestions that i use multiple cameras to make my videos a little more interesting and so you can just shoot from uh, different angles and it just it, it has the ability to um, get your viewers to watch your videos longer just because they're just more pleasing and more interesting so I started using multiple cameras I ended up getting a um, 750d and that would shoot at another angle and this is basically the same camera is a um, t4i and then I was all, also got a 80d right here same thing 80d these are 1080p cameras don't shoot 4k but I was able to um, shoot at multiple angles to make my videos more interesting. I ended up going with battery packs right here, this big device here, because we were running out of batteries all the time. So now this has multiple batteries in it. So our cameras would last a lot longer. So I've got those battery packs hooked on to the camera. You can see there's a battery pack on this camera. So um, it's just a great accessory to have. I eventually uh, moved on to buying different lenses. As I learned about cameras and stuff, I started learning about lenses that I can get more interesting shots with zoom lenses and um, and just higher quality lenses. The video, I'm going to eventually show you that camera right there, which has a really expensive lens on it and it, a wide angle lens to give me wider shots. Uh, the shots are more versatile. I started off just using you know, a 35, 30 by 55 um, lens right here. Very inexpensive of lens it usually just comes I bought this as um or not the road mic but I bought the camera as a pack it came you know I'm um, in a bag with the lens and everything but uh, these type of lenses big long zoom lens I got that to give an interesting shot it's a 70 by 300 millimeter but I also use this lens to um, do sport photography do I said was um, taking photos of my kids as they grew up um, playing rugby and stuff like that and so that was a great lens for photography but it's also great for really close-up photos when we're trying to show um, you know detailed shots of painting and stuff so this was um, this is a this is a Canon Mark 5D. So this, I eventually graduated to this, not maybe about two years ago. And the big reason why I moved on to a Mark 5 was it's a 4K camera. Now there's a, a major difference
difference between video footage being shot with a 4K and um, 1080p. We can punch in, zoom in on our shots. We can take wide angle shots and zoom in and they're not gonna be pixelated. And so we started using 4K cameras. One of the big drawbacks is it doesn't have a lens that flips out and where I can see myself. So if I'm trying to video myself, it's a lot harder to set everything up. I usually have to use my wife or somebody here to set here. Let me go over here, get the camera set up. And um, so it's a little more difficult um, to use. I The camera on the other side here, the R6, has a it's a 4K camera with a flip out lens um, that turns over so you can see yourself. So I'm gonna talk a, a little bit about sound. There's still stuff about cameras I can talk about uh, why I've used the cameras and some of the things I use, but I'm going to talk about sound. I started off in the big, if you're making videos for um, YouTube um, or to market your painting company, how to videos or just talking about yourself to show your customers who you are, what your company's is about, um, sound quality is is. The, one of the most important things you'll get complaints about. And if the sound's not good, people are probably gonna take off and go um, watch other videos or watch other channels. And so uh, sound quality from this was really bad. Why people continue to watch my videos, um, mystery. Um, but uh, back then, a lot of video content was um, shot with you know, really primitive devices like this. But nowadays, um, the sound quality, video quality is a lot better, a lot more competitive on YouTube. YouTube, you have to have good sound. I went to a road shotgun mic and um, so I, without the road shotgun mic, your camera has an internal mic to it, but that's the same problem with a mic like this or even a mic on your phone. It's gonna pick up everything in a circular circumference. It's gonna pick up things up in the air, um, airplanes, cars driving by. It just literally picks up every you know, noise that's out there and mixes it with your, no with your um, voice. Uh, the road shotgun mic goes out in kind of a cone shape. When you talk, it kind of focuses on your voice. So the sound quality was quite a bit better with a road shotgun mic. It was plugged into the camera, so it fed, um, and it didn't end up using the internal camera, and it fed it into the camera right in um, with the disc itself, the SD disc. So it was um, embedded on there. Eventually, this that sound quality, I still noticed it would pick up things like lawnmowers, weed eaters, um, and birds and stuff like that. Not as bad as other stuff, but I still got um, sound quality issues and people complaining about sound. So then I eventually moved on to a Zoom mic, which is an external mic, and that's the mic being um, right here on the next to the camera over here. And it, it takes and it um, picks up sound. It's a shotgun mic, but it gets better quality sound. It's got some adjustments on it, but it puts the sound separately than um, the sound on um, the camera itself. And then you just gotta sync them when you do the editing. And that worked really good. And it was a step up from this. We go from here to here to the Zoom mic, but then we still weren't getting the best quality sound. So I eventually moved um, over to, these are called task cams and these are um, lav mics right here. And this same thing, it records it on a little a mini uh, micro SD right here. It's separate sound. And this really, really gives high, high quality sound right here. That is the best sound that we can get. And what it is, it's, I actually have a mic right here. I'll tap it. You probably might have heard that right there. It's taped underneath my shirt because I don't like it showing and stuff. So I have a lav mic on me right now. We use two mic sources just in case the lav mic's not working. Um, something goes wrong. Um, we've got a backup mic. That's one thing um, in my career shooting videos quite a few times, um, you know, battery went dead on a camera, for some reason something shut down, or the mic battery went dead. Um, I would ha had Bluetooth mics at one time and didn't know the battery would go dead. And then, um, and so you didn't have sound. So now when I'm shooting something, we have backups of everything. So we usually have multiple cameras going, we have multiple mics going. So if something goes bad with one, we got another one in place. So I got multiple cameras shooting. Right now I've got a um, Canon, the Canon R6 shooting right there. And we've got Tyler shooting with um, 
another, uh, it's a Luminex camera. Luminex, I think a, a GS, is it a, uh, what's? GH5, Illuminate, and that's a 4K camera. And I'll show you that setup because Tyler shoots B roll with that with a uh, Ronin. So I'll show you and we'll talk about why we use the Ronin. But I'm going to talk about some of these other little devices right here that I shoot with also. So here's a couple other devices that, you know, I've used in the past. I think originally I went to this device and it's called a Smooth. And, and these are gimbals and this um this device your your phone hooks to it and i would walk around in video uh with um my phone attached to this thing called the smooth and um i won't sit and try to put it on and bore you with that but you'd walk around and it's um a gimbal and so it moves instead of you being very jerky with the camera it makes um, the camera footage a lot smoother because it's really hard to walk around with um, your camera. And that's another thing is having shaky footage. Um, people are gonna complain about that. I went from the smooth to a DJI right here, Osmo, which the DJI Osmo, same type of device. It's gonna hook your phone on here. You're gonna turn it on and now it's gonna move and do pretty cool things. We'll probably should set it up, show you some B-roll footage of the thing, this thing actually operating. It's got a toggle on it so you can move it around and that's just going to clean up your video footage, make it so it's not bumpy and jerky. You can, it'll flip around. You can do selfie type stuff, walk around. So I used to do my live shows with this. I'd walk around on the job site doing live shows and um, this was a pretty cool device. This is the, um, don't use it very rarely anymore because now we stepped up to bigger, more expensive, more complicated devices. Um, this is, once again, all on the Osmo, DJI Osmo. And as we're going through this video, we'll um, try to pop up some prices, you know, these devices and stuff. So we use those two things. The selfie stick is just a, a simple, inexpensive device. Um, I eventually uh, bought a... Um, a drone and so i was i've never been a video gamer don't um never played them really in my life and i'm not good with video games at all so i bought this thing and it terrified me that i was going to crash it it was not easy to learn how to use but i wanted uh, more footage that just you know was more interesting to make my videos uh, more interesting and more pleasing to watch and just give you different angles and um and different shots of what's going on and so throughout the years you know maybe six Six years ago, I started doing some drone shots, which is um, the really cool shots. And then um, Tyler flies the drone. He's a, um, I think, a licensed um, um, pilot of these things, the DJI um, drone. But this thing is amazing. I think I paid around eight hundred dollars for this. I got multiple. I got a small one, and then I got this guy right here, and just some absolutely killer shots with a drone and I just simply just bought it just to give some really cool footage and once again just to make my videos a lot more interesting. So I'm going to talk a little bit about my phone because I use my phone quite a bit for um, social media content like Instagram um, photos, Facebook photos. Uh, we use it quite often and it also i use it quite often for videos for instagram and facebook too i got it set to video in 4k and so that's a great feature it takes up a lot more space on your phone if you're videoing that but there's over i think around 60,000 videos and photos on my phone at this point in time now um i'll even verify that now it's it's crazy how much i got on here and um but your iphone is a great device for even shooting B-roll, like my um, my wife, well, I got 52,210 photos and videos on my phone. So, um, but she'll shoot B-roll shots horizontally because it'll match the 4K video on our cameras and stuff. And so um, don't underestimate the power of an iPhone. It's just one of the things is sound quality is not nearly as good. And then there's other things you just can't control like um, the ISO and stuff like that. So so in bad lighting and stuff, you can manipulate the lighting and um, the picture quality and the depth of field with cameras versus your um, iPhone. So, but it's a great um, added tool to have, you know, when you're actually shooting footage. And I'm going to talk about 
the devices that we're using right now to shoot video, the latest and greatest technology that we've bought. In. And we've got, I got um, the main camera sitting right there. It's a Canon R6. And one of the main reasons why we purchased that over the Mark 5D right here, this is a 4K camera, but that's more dedicated for video. This is more of an all around camera for pictures and video. And this, um, fills up SD cards like crazy. If you're filming a 30 minute video, it's gonna take multiple large SD cards um, that you're gonna to have to keep swapping out. And they really dialed it in with the R6 where in, in this video, we've only had to swap out a card once so far. So um, the files, I guess, are I'm not a, a real camera geek, but the files are a lot smaller and um, the camera's just got some really cool features on it. And one of the things it's got, they flip out lens um, on it which this camera did not so that's the Canon Mark or R6. So this uh, fancy little device this is our Ronin right here and this is a gimbal and so this is what um, Tyler is typically walking around and shooting some really cool b-roll footage to make our videos a lot more interesting. This has got our Luminix set up on it so you can see there's this thing is absolutely amazing. So this is gimbal technology. That's the same with this device. This was um, came out um, before this actual fancy little device came out. But this is um, not cheap. I'm. I think did I was this like a thousand dollars, Tyler? I think that one was like a little over six hundred. A little over six hundred dollars for this gimbal. Um, the Luminix. How much was the Luminix camera? about 1200 for the Luminix. But this right here, now you're starting to get into, you know, pretty fancy videos and stuff like that. You don't have to have all this fancy equipment unless you're trying to do videos, you know, um, and video content full time, you know, um, then it would be important to, you know, have something like this possibly. So I'm gonna hand this thing back over to Tyler, but you can see what this does is it gives Tyler the ability to walk around and not have to be so steady handed. It's going to smooth everything out and make your video quality a lot better. And um, it's really difficult to walk around with a camera or we um, at one time we would have it shoulder mount. So you'd walk around and you're still getting some bumping around and some jerking around, you know, um, with the camera. But that thing is absolutely amazing. So here is our main camera that shoots our main footage now, right here. So this is our latest and greatest setup. This is the Canon R6, it's fairly new. It's got, this is um, our main lens. This is kind of an expensive lens. It's a 16 by 35 millimeter ultrasonic lens right here, auto manual focus, but this is um, a pretty amazing lens. I think I paid maybe around a thousand dollars for this lens and this um, with this tripods. I haven't talked about tripods, but I've got a whole bunch of different tripods. This is an Oben tripod right here. Um, not the best tripod you can buy, but it's a pretty stirable, heavy duty tripod. And this is our camera setup. It's got a flip around reversible screen. Pretty nice. It's got the battery pack, extended battery pack on it. So it's not going to um, run out as fast as a camera, you know, that doesn't have a battery pack hooked to it. So that's it. This is the latest and greatest toy that we use from Canon. So showing you all this equipment, hopefully you'll get some you know, ideas of what I use. And I mean, I just strongly encourage you to make some videos yourself. And one of them, you know, if you own your own business, make a video about you know, who you are, what your business is all about for prospective clients to so just see you, you know, um, in person and sit down. If you're married, sit down with your wife, make a video about who you guys are and um, what you enjoy about painting and what your business is all about. You know, also, make 
make some you know videos out there just some do-it-yourself videos to help uh, your prospective clients and um, I won't get into you know um, you know uh, the positives or negatives about that but obviously you know I mean it, it was very important um, to my business to you know help out my clients that couldn't afford to pay me and so some of this video equipment you don't have to have all this expensive stuff you know to make a video like say I just made my very first videos with something so simple but you know in in seeing all this equipment hopefully you'll get some ideas about you know what you could possibly use to shoot videos and um, make videos start a YouTube channel post your videos on you can post them on Facebook you can post it on Instagram you know this kind of content to um, help market yourself so all right, there you have it. A kind of a summary of the equipment that I've been using over the years and how I went from this to that right there. Um, this isn't all of it that I've used. There's been a lot of things that I've used, tested out, that um, I, I use them for a week or two and they just weren't uh, working, didn't work for me, you know, and so they eventually went into um, the bag of tricks that didn't, I, I didn't use. And there's a lot of that stuff. This is um, the stuff that, you know, is, was my main equipment that created the video content that I did over the years. Hopefully you got some information about this. If you have any tips or tricks that I can use to continue to make videos. If you're a camera pro, I would love to hear about it. Put it down in the comment section below. If you're making videos out there, let us know what you're using. Um, this isn't necessarily the best stuff. This is just what I've used and some people recommended it to this um, to me over the years. People like um, Tyler, who is a professional in this industry, and I've bought and you know and upgraded equipment as I've gone over the years. I think um, Tyler says we got about ten thousand dollars, you know, in video equipment now, and um, so that's a big investment. And you know, you're not going to want to spend all that money just to make you know, a video on um, you know what your business is about. So um, just a, a small investment, you know, is, is all you need to make. You know, um, hopefully. You've enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this um, what's behind the scenes you know give me a thumbs up that's a little encouragement I'm um, subscribed to our channel hit the notification bell and down in the comment section below just let me know what you want to hear or what you want to see I mean I've been getting questions and comments you know quite a while I just um, the other day somebody asked me what mic am I using and I replied back to him it's the Tascam mic right there a little um, mic that's like a couple hundred dollars I have like five of them but do you want to see more videos once again hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell it's free simple easy to do it doesn't cost you anything everything we do on YouTube is free we'll see you in the lens next time out